Hello, in this video we're going to be looking at 3D Pythagoras. Now, for this video you're going to need to know how to do normal Pythagoras, but don't worry, I've got a video on that, I'll link it in the description. It's literally four minutes long, so you can go watch that, then come back here and learn about 3D Pythagoras. So what is it? Well, it is literally Pythagoras just in three dimensions. So say we're given a shape like this, okay, it's a cuboid, and we want to find this diagonal distance AB. But we're only given the lengths of sides A, B, and C. How could we do that? Well, this is where we can use 3D Pythagoras, and it doesn't just have to be on a cuboid, it can be other shapes too. But here's how it works. Say I were to know this diagonal line. Well, I already know this height C, and you might be able to spot this creates a right angle triangle, like that. So if I knew this diagonal here, this bottom one that I've now kind of drawn over, then I could use Pythagoras to find that missing length AB. So just for now, I'm going to call it length E. So really what I want to do is E squared plus C squared, and that's going to equal, let's call it D, this missing side D squared. So that's just using normal Pythagoras. But I don't know length E. So how could I work it out? Well, you may have noticed this is also a right angle down there. And I could use sides A and B to find the length of E because I could do A squared plus B squared equals C squared. Uh, sorry, not C squared, that's just Pythagoras. E squared, there we go. And if I know that A squared plus B squared equals E squared, then I can just substitute that into the top formula. So E squared is just equal to, well, A squared plus B squared. So if I then add C squared, it will give me D squared. And this here is my 3D Pythagoras formula. So it's basically the same, it's just got another number in it, or variable in this case. So let's use it in an example. Here we go. We've got a very similar shape and we need to find the length AD. And this length AD I've labeled up D there. So very similar to before, I'm gonna call this A, I'm gonna call this side B and this side C. And the formula tells me if I do A squared plus B squared plus C squared, it's gonna equal D squared. So let's do it. We've got three squared plus four squared plus two squared and that equals D squared. So if I do three squared and I add on four squared and then I add two squared, that's gonna give me 29. So 29 is equal to D squared. And I'm now gonna take the square root of that because I wanna find just D, I don't want D squared. And to, do decimal uh, to two decimal places, that's 5.39. And I'm only taking my positive answer of the square root because I'm dealing with a length. So if it's a length, I can't have a negative one. So D is 5.39 and that's that missing side. Now it won't just be shapes like that, as I said, you might be given something like this. This is a square based pyramid, okay? And it says find the length of AC. So let me draw on that missing side here. It's this side, I've kind of gone over it in like a turquoise green. Hopefully you can see that, it's this one. So it's, that's the length we need to find, I'll call it X. And B is the midpoint of the base. And we've been given uh, the height of the pyramid, which is nine centimeters. And then we've been given this side and this side, which are both six. So I'll show you two ways we could do it, and the second way I'll show you how 3D Pythagoras can help. So the first thing I could do is, I could draw on a line here, let me change color to this. I could draw on a diagonal here from side C to B, and you'll see this will create a right angle triangle. So if I knew this missing length, CB, then I could just do that squared plus nine centimeters squared, and that will give me the missing side squared, but I don't. But what I do know, okay, is as B is the midpoint, if I cut it in half like this, okay, well, this length here is gonna be three centimeters, or so let's write that, three centimeters, and this length here, because it's the midpoint, so it's half of that, is also gonna be three centimeters. So let me write that on two, three centimeters. And this is also, because of how I've done it, it's a right angle triangle. So I've got, well, three squared plus three squared, okay, which is 18. If I take the square root of that, that gives me this missing side here, which is three root two. Okay, because I've just done Pythagoras with it. And now I know three root two is that side, I could do three root two, all squared, plus nine squared, is that's gonna equal side, let me write it how it's written in the question, side AC squared. So let's do it. That squared plus nine squared is 99, which equals AC squared. But I don't want that, I want the square root of it, which is three root 11, which to two decimal places is 9.95 centimeters. And that's the missing side. So how could I have used 3D Pythagoras to help me with this? Well, let me scroll down 
Now this might be tricky to show, but hopefully I can. If I were to draw a rectangle just on like part of the, tri uh, the square base pyramid, then I could actually, let me put it down here. Hopefully you can see that. You'd see that, well, this represents my three centimeters. So does this represent my three centimeters. Okay, and the height of this is nine centimeters. So you can kind of see this little um, cuboid there, okay, has been drawn like this around the pyramid. Hopefully that makes sense. And once I've done that, I can just do well, three squared plus three squared plus nine squared is equal to, well, this would be C and this would be A, so AC squared. And you could work it out the exact same way. So three squared plus three squared plus nine squared, that gives me 99. And then we took the square root of that to get the missing side. So that's how 3D Pythagoras can be used with other shapes too. Hopefully that helped. I've got more tutorials on my channel, so go check that out. I've also got past papers on there, which I upload every Saturday, or just go over to my TikTok for loads of worked exam questions. Thanks for watching.